I have some amazing news for you guys. It involves Final Cut Pro and an iPad. Then I get Logic as well, but I don't use Logic, so this video will be mostly focused on the iPad and Final Cut Pro. Okay, so Final Cut Pro is officially coming to the iPad. I know, rejoice, get happy. You're like, why am I here right now? I should download it right now. First of all, it's coming on the 23rd. So toward the end of the month from the time this video is being made. And second of all, there is a caveat, okay? I'm going to look at my iPad right now, unlock it and stuff and show you it. I'm showing you guys it because I don't know how to tell you guys this bad news. So I'm going to try to say it. It's going to be a monthly subscription of $5. Now, I don't know if that includes both Logic and um, Final Cut Pro, but I think the, it's $5 for each. $4.99 a month, $5 a month, I believe, for each Final Cut Pro on iPad. You'll have to spend $5. Then if you want Logic, another $5. Now, with that said, there are some new features coming, okay? Like the iPad, it's go version of Final Cut Pro. It's going to work with both the M1 and M2. If you have below M1 and M2 iPads, I don't believe you can even run Final Cut Pro on it. But onto the new feature, like I said, there's going to be a new feature that will let you remove backgrounds on the go without using a green screen i'm actually a bit happy about that personally and then there's going to be a feature that's specific to the m2 right now which is that if you have the apple pencil and hover over you can quickly you know skim through the footage and stuff which is pretty cool and then there's also going to be a feature that lets you use your Apple Pencil to write on top of stuff. Like just write on top of the video or whatever. Now I don't know if that's just for personal use or if it's good for the video. Because if it's good for the video, that opens up a whole new thing of stuff. That you can do. And just using the Apple Pencil in general with Final Cut Pro might actually be pretty awesome in my opinion. Because if I'm being perfectly honest, Apple doesn't have a lot of native Pro apps. Now, it costing $5 a month or $50 a year, I believe they are also going with $5 a month or $50 a year. That seems to be quite the discount, so I feel like people would be more likely to go the home pay for the whole year route. But in general, I'd love to know your guys' opinions. Comment section below. Do, are you guys interested in buying the version of Final Cut Pro for the iPad since it's going to be a monthly subscription? Or would you rather it have been a one-time purchase of around $100 or $200? or whatnot. Let me know your opinions, comment section below, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.